E equals mc squared. It is arguably the most famous physics equation in the world. But what might surprise you is that this equation is not complete. It only describes the energy of an object in a rest state. Its complete expression is the square equals mc squared plus p squared times. Here, p refers to the momentum of the object. At first glance, you might find this equation rather complex. But in reality, you can draw a right triangle. The lengths of the two legs are mc. And then use the most famous mathematical equation in the world. The Pythagorean theorem. This way, we arrive at this equation. It can be clearly seen from this diagram that, if an object is at rest, its momentum equals zero. This means we return to E equals mc squared again. Additionally, if a particle has no mass like a photon, its mass equals zero. Therefore, E equals p times E. In this way, E equals E. This equation tells us, the energy possessed by massless particles, is equal to momentum times the speed of light. In fact, the closer an object's energy is to p times c, the closer its speed is to the speed of light. When an object approaches the speed of light, its rest mass has energy that is almost negligible. To understand this phenomenon, we can express the object's velocity as the speed of an object equals the speed of light multiplied by the ratio of the object's momentum to its energy. If the object's momentum increases, p times c will get closer and closer to energy e. That is, the ratio of p to e approaches 1. At this point, the object's speed approaches the speed of light. However, since this object has rest mass, therefore, the length of the side p times c is always shorter than the side e. No matter how you increase the object's momentum, the side p times c will never reach the side e. In other words, your speed will never reach the speed of light. 